DJ Sharp MC. Live, 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 live. Back on the track. And with the condenser with mic the condenser going on, on the echo, 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 echo. Never get tired, never get tired, never get tired, never get tired. Anyway, so I was watching this video from, uh, I think it was the, the, the Drank King, and he was talking about how to improve your chords. So I laid down some chords, and I'm going to practice what he said, and we're going to see if it improves the chords. Close up view. Check it out. So this is the chords. Okay, so that's my chords. So the first thing was to fatten it up. So let's see if I can fatten it up. Uh, so it was, it was copy that, and then I need to transpose it. Transpose this up and down, and then nudge it's back and forth. All right, so let's try it with this new piece. And basically, I guess your eyes have a lot of sensitivity, but apparently your ears have even more connections to your brain than your eyes. So you're supposed to listen and kind of feel things out for what feels right so uh playing this i'm going to go through and try to feel where to put the layers to get the sound right so that already sounds better because you can't even tell it's there okay so then We'll do the same thing on the next part, which I think is like these guys. So we hit copy, and then we nudge back the copy version. There's a faster way to do it, but I'm just going to go through it so we can all learn step by step since this is everybody's got to get better at chords. Then we'll transpose it down. Now we'll play it. Oh, actually, it's supposed to be in line with this one. And then let's play it and hear our sounds. Okay. That sounds worse. That one's... That's okay. That one's hard to tell. You can tell that's wrong. So it's only like... Okay, so that sounds good there. But I think what I want to do is put one an octave lower. We'll put one an octave lower and see how that sounds. It's so, it's so close that you can barely tell, but it's definitely changing it. So this time I think I'll play it in the position it originally is in, and then I'll move it. That's a full octave down. So it just sounds a little fatter. Or maybe I'll do half of that. Two, three, four. And see if that works. That sounds okay. Okay, so let's leave that there. So now we're going to do the other thing to really make it interesting. So here's how it sounds now. We'll just make sure you can hear it and then I'm going to edit it and you'll see the difference. Okay, so that's how it sounds normal. Now I'm going to go through and just pick individual sounds and move them a little bit. Not, not in a note, but in... Uh, position so we'll bring this one two steps forward we'll bring this one one step forward 
we'll bring this one one step back we'll bring this one one step back we'll bring this one so it's changing the arpeggiator we'll bring this one uh, forward and then we'll do this one back this one we'll do that one forward we'll do that this one back now I changed it now let's see how it sounds so with long sounds it's kinda of hard to tell so I think I'm gonna try this exact same thing with short sounds and see if it sounds if you can hear it more distinctly like with a stab sound so we'll just make another quick track we'll pull up another sound piano uh, we'll put it on notes chords we'll find a chord We'll do those four. Okay, so that'll work for just what we're just doing. So now we got all these notes, so that's gonna be like a pain in the butt to see, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so here's all the notes. I think it's only two octaves, right? Yes, it's two octaves. So there's the notes. So the first thing we'll do is we'll we'll just move some notes around just to see how it sounds, since that's what I wanted to show you from the last time. So we'll just go ahead and change it up. We'll play it normal. Okay, and then now we'll make some changes. We'll move this back a little bit move this couple that way move this one a little bit this way move this one forward move this one this one forward and now let's start over so it already gives it more character we'll just move a few more so you can hear how just shifting a few really adds a lot of sound so I guess it actually is a good technique to go through now let's try it so all the ones sound good that I edited but the ones that I didn't edit um, I didn't really I didn't really like the way they sounded so let's go ahead and and move these other ones the ones that I didn't edit so that each note oops that's too much move each one just a little all right now let's try it So it definitely has a whole lot of character just by adding and mixing the notes around. So now, since uh, we demonstrated those two things, this is like the the stab sound. I really got to get in the habit of labeling my stuff in case I decide to do a quick mix or mute. And this was the long sound, like the strings, but I'm gonna call it keys just to get it in there. So, and then on track one, I think I got the a drum beat right let's see if I got a drum beat on track one yeah I got just some drum beat so that's that's the keys um, I had did before key number two and on this one, I went ahead and edited the sounds. Now check out how it sounds. This is an edited one that I'm using in my track. Uh, well, just, just the keys, but listen to how it sounds.
So that sounds really melodic. And all I did was went through, played some chords, and did what like uh, the, the Drink King had showed about just moving some sounds around a little bit or duplicating the chords on the grid mode. So this is how just that piece sounds. Which is pretty good. So. Now we'll turn on my other keys. Anyway, that's how it goes. Sharp M C La La La. Peace. Peace.